Robert Nanigo was a writer, actor, poet, and environmental activist whose passing leaves as large a void in the community as the impact his work had. A recent gathering in Encinitas celebrated the man who one writer pronounced a finished work in progress. KOCT lost a good friend recently with the passing of Bob Nanaga. Bob was a contributor to many KOCT projects, including Inside Oceanside, Journalist Roundtable, and many other documentaries and reports over the years. Actor, poet, activist, and three-time candidate for Encinitas City Council, Bob's impact was felt all over North County, particularly with regard to environmental issues. With the Cottonwood Creek and the role it plays in our community, Got a bunch of groups here, it's very cool, very cool. It's Earth Day 2000, we're actually working. A memorial was held recently at La Paloma Theater in Encinitas, sponsored by the Full Moon Poets Society, whose poetry slams Bob M. Seed. Well, we're here tonight to uh, honor Bob Nanaga, uh, who was MC of the Poetry Slams, um, the biannual full moon slams, um, which he really put a trademark on. Um, and uh, we're really here to honor that tonight, to bring poetry, his poetry and other people's poetry about Bob. I first met Bob when he was still a wet behind the ear 17 year old. We were doing theater together, so I knew him for 28 years and it was quite a journey with him and uh, as I was telling somebody the other day we didn't always agree with Bob he, we knew it could be very opinionated some things we were just an audience for him and others we were on board with him but whatever happened we always loved him he was a conscience for Encinitas he really pushed us to listen to the environment to uh, to plant wisely to do things wisely he was always willing to point out when when things weren't done well. <laughs> he, he wasn't quiet. <laughs> he had a rare gift of being able to express himself through his written word and his spoken word. And uh, sometimes he alienated people, but he always got your attention. Bob was an actor, he was a poet, he was an activist. He was, most of all, he was a friend. And he was brilliant, and the world is a little less colorful without him, you know. The multimedia tribute of music, poetry, and video began with the KOCT-produced highlight reel of Bob's work with the station. People that have lived here, that have moved here in the last 20 years, would probably would never know that this was once upon a time a creek with birds and trees and fish and all that kind of biotic life that we no longer actually need, eh? After a short musical number, the evening continued with a reading by Bob's partner, Keith Shillington. There is great beauty in the joining of family and community, expressing our love, admiration, and affection for Bob, and our sadness on his passage. He was magical when it came to working with words. He would take the first 20 poets, he would take one line from each poem and compose a poem out of those lines, which really summed up everything that we had heard in the first session. I scratch out my reflection, sweet like honey, black and strong. I'm a simple man. Was that a poem of bodies naked in the moonlight, let loose in their cars? I wish I could take a picture of my broken camera. I'm just a simple man with smells of broken dreams, tarnished by this wicked world, this pristine child, the oppressor and the oppressed. Deep in the funk, they shall inherit the earth. Yet he spins every penny like fireworks on the 4th of July. Not hip, not cool. I don't feel sad yet. I'm drifting, etched in marble. I, it's slowly sinking in. Social security has run out at the end of a long silver coil. And ill-begotten I loves you. So innocent. Rushmore. In the first poetry slam that I was in, he called my name to come up to the stage and he saw my name Trish and he said Trish the dish and and he gave me a persona that I don't know if I tried to live up with to it but it, he gave me a persona that people responded to and that I responded to they said it was cancer she knew it was justice 
for years of pumping poison into the ground, fighting back nature one crop at a time. He always said the bugs would be the death of him. She knew he was right the first time he said it. Because putting a toxic legacy into the ground leaves a stain. She wore a house dress to the rodeo. And I think it made me more of a diva on the stage. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. It was fun to be calm. Trish the dish. And it was because of Bob. Bob also volunteered at a local elementary school, teaching acting to young people through a program called Class Act. Several of his students read their own poems at Bob's memorial. Bob taught us a lot during his time with us from how to act like an old woman to how to not make a fuss. He was an amazing actor and many other things you see. And to us, he was a hero, Bob Nanaga, our big Jesse. He's not here with us now and we'll miss him. He was so many important parts. But we are all sure of one thing, that we'll always have Bob in our hearts. He touched more lives than we realize. And we used to say about him, he was a legend in his own mind, but now I think he's a legend in his own time. And uh, he left a big stamp on Encinitas and surrounding areas, and we'll miss him for years to come. But we'll also feel the effects of what he's done for years to come. Uh, one way of looking at it is uh, it, it's sort of like an atomic explosion has hit. Um, Encinitas and there's little bits of bobness being sprayed out on all of us and it's really up to us to continue the, that torch to carry those torches forward. I don't think any of us were willing to let, let go of him yet. I think he's still here. You know, and uh, So we're going to keep doing the same thing. I think you may see more native plant gardens coming up in, in Encinitas in Southern California and uh, things like, that's what I hope. I miss him but he's still here.